Hello. After a brief hiatus for Passover, I'd like to welcome you all back to Congregation Agud of Shalom's This Week in Jewish History. This week, I'd like to talk about an old-time Jewish banking family, particularly the son who helped create one of the world's largest banking companies, Goldman Sachs. The name of that son was Henry Goldman. But in order to understand Henry Goldman, we must go back a bit earlier, back to Europe, to the German city of Frankfurt, and to Henry's father, Marcus Goldman. Marcus Goldman was born to a Jewish family in Bavaria and moved to the big city of Frankfurt. In 1848, he emigrated to America, initially settling in Philadelphia before moving to New York City. And in 1869, Marcus Goldman started his banking firm, eventually bringing in his son-in-law, Samuel Sachs, and renaming the company, as we know it, Goldman Sachs. His son, Henry, was born in 1857 in Philadelphia and later attended Harvard University. Henry joined the family business in 1884. He was instrumental in growing Goldman Sachs, taking on such clients as Sears and Woolworth, Woolworths, and was instrumental in running the Studebaker Automobile Company. But perhaps the most interesting part of Henry Goldman's life were his views on world events. With the outbreak of World War I, Henry threw his support behind Germany and the Central Powers and refused to allow Goldman Sachs to participate in a large loan that was to be given to Great Britain and its allies. However, with the United States' entrance into the war, Henry decided that he must resign from Goldman Sachs, acknowledging that he could no longer continue to support Germany as such a public figure. Henry continued to be a strong lover of Germany for years to come. What would change his, what would change his mind was a trip he took to Germany in 1933, where he saw firsthand the vicious anti-Semitism that prevailed as a result of the Nazi rise to power. And as a result of this, for the next few years until he died, Goldman put his efforts into helping German Jews escape the horrors of Nazism. Henry Goldman died in 1937 and is buried in the Salem Fields Cemetery in Brooklyn, amongst other prominent New York Jewish families. Thank you for listening, and have a wonderful day.